Earth has one natural moon, but it occasionally plays host to other small objects that find themselves in a similar orbital rhythm. These objects can accompany Earth for years, though they don't always get noticed. NASA has confirmed that one such object, a faint 19-metre asteroid known as 2025 PN7, is currently sharing Earth's orbit. It follows the Sun in almost perfect sync with our planet, and in doing so, it has earned the distinction of a newly recognised quasi-moon. While this small asteroid won't have any impact on tides or be visible in the night sky, its prolonged presence provides an exciting opportunity for scientists to study how small objects behave in Earth's orbital environment. In this segment, we'll explore what 2025 PN7 is, why its discovery matters, and what scientists expect to learn from it in the years to come. The identification of 2025 PN7 began with routine sky monitoring. Observatories such as the Pan-STARRS Survey in Hawaii regularly scan the night sky, using wide-field imaging systems to detect faint, slow-moving objects. In August 2025, one of these surveys picked up an object that moved slowly enough to suggest it was near Earth. Its dimness indicated that it was very small, about 19 metres in size. Once flagged, the object was tracked across multiple nights, allowing astronomers to improve their measurements of its position. These observations were then fed into orbital determination software. It was here that the object began to stand out. Instead of following the typical paths of near-Earth asteroids, those that cross Earth's orbit briefly before continuing on their way, 2025 PN7's orbital period closely matched Earth's. This initial match of one Earth year was the first indication that this object could be a quasi-moon. NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies refined the orbital data using additional measurements, confirming that the object's orbit around the Sun closely mirrors Earth's throughout the year, forming a co-orbital configuration known as a one-to-one -one orbital resonance. Unlike a captured moon, 2025 PN7 is not gravitationally bound to Earth. Instead, the resonance between its orbit and Earth's keeps it near our planet for extended periods, while both objects independently orbit the Sun. Simulations run forwards and backwards in time suggested something even more fascinating. 2025 PN7 likely entered Earth's co-orbital region around the 1960s. This means that it has been travelling alongside Earth for decades without being detected. And according to current models, it will remain in this orbit until approximately 2083 providing scientists with several more decades to study its behaviour. Despite its long-term residency, 2025 PN7 remains extremely faint. Its small size and dark surface mean it reflects very little sunlight, which explains why it evaded detection for so long. The object's identification was only made possible thanks to improvements in automated sky, surveys and the repeated nightly monitoring of the same regions of the sky. With this discovery, 2025 PN7 joins a small group of known quasi-moons, though most of these are larger and follow more stable paths. While this new object is modest in size, its long-term presence near Earth offers astronomers a rare opportunity to study how small bodies behave in Earth's vicinity. The significance of 2025 PN7 lies not in its size, but in its orbital configuration. Quasi-moons like this one give scientists a natural laboratory to observe how small bodies evolve under a planet's gravitational influence without being gravitationally captured. A key point of interest is the one-to-one -one orbital resonance with Earth. Both Earth and 2025 PN7 orbit the Sun in nearly the same amount of time, keeping their movements synchronised. This synchrony is delicate, however, as small bodies like 2025 PN7 are subject to gravitational influences from other planets as well as non-gravitational forces like solar radiation pressure. Over long periods of time, these influences can alter the trajectory of co-orbital objects. One specific effect scientists are eager to study is the Yakovsky effect. This small but persistent force occurs when sunlight heats an asteroid's surface. The heat then radiates back into space, creating a tiny push that can cause the asteroid to drift slightly inward or outward from the sun. Since 2025 PN7 will remain near Earth for many decades, astronomers have an unusually long observational window to measure how this effect alters its trajectory. Long-term tracking of such objects helps improve predictions for the future paths of other near-Earth bodies, offering crucial data for impact risk assessments. The origins of quasi-moons are another area of interest. Some may come from the asteroid belt, temporarily captured into a co-orbital state through gravitational interactions with other planets. 
Others might originate as fragments from collisions elsewhere in the inner solar system. While 2025 PN7 is too small and faint to be characterised in detail at present, future instrumentation could help determine whether it shares characteristics with known asteroid families or whether it represents a unique sample from a different region of the solar system. In addition to its scientific value, 2025 PN7 also presents practical opportunities for space missions. Due to its relatively slow motion compared to Earth, the asteroid would be an ideal target for mission planners looking to test autonomous navigation, precision manoeuvring, or short-range sampling technologies. These capabilities are becoming increasingly important as space agencies and private companies work on developing asteroid deflection techniques and resource mapping technologies. Because 2025 PN7 is small and relatively stable, it offers a low-risk environment for testing these systems before targeting more distant or hazardous objects. Though the small size of 2025 PN7 limits the type of missions that can be conducted, the extended time it will remain accessible allows mission planners the flexibility to consider it a viable target for future experiments. For example, spacecraft could be used to test the viability of autonomous navigation or surface interaction strategies in a controlled environment, providing real-world experience for future space exploration endeavours. Overall, 2025 PN7 offers a rare opportunity for astronomers to monitor a co-orbiting body over several decades. By studying its motion and behaviour, scientists can refine theoretical models of how small objects evolve in Earth's neighbourhood. The long-term presence of 2025 PN7 also opens up a wealth of possibilities for future research on the dynamics of co-orbital objects and their potential impact on Earth's orbit. One of the most significant benefits of 2025 PN7's discovery is the chance for long-term monitoring. Most near-Earth asteroids are only observable during brief flybys that last only weeks or months. In contrast, 2025 PN7 will remain near Earth until the 2080s, giving researchers a much longer window to study its behaviour. This extended observational period will help scientists test and refine models that predict how other small bodies behave in Earth's vicinity, improving our understanding of how these objects move and evolve over time. Another important implication of 2025 PN7's discovery is the opportunity for space missions. While its small size limits the types of missions that are suitable for it, its slow relative motion makes it easier to reach and manoeuvre around than many more distant objects. This gives mission planners the flexibility to test autonomous navigation, approach strategies, and surface interaction experiments in a low-risk environment. This makes 2025 PN7 an ideal candidate for mission planning in the future, especially for testing technologies that will be critical for space exploration and asteroid resource utilisation. The discovery of 2025 PEN7 also highlights the dynamic nature of Earth's orbital environment. Many people tend to think of space around Earth as empty, but discoveries like this one reveal a much more active and complex region. Small objects frequently drift in and out of co-orbital states, influenced by gravitational interactions with other planets and the Sun. Understanding how these populations of small bodies move is crucial for improving our models of how material flows through the inner solar system and for refining impact risk assessments. Looking ahead, advances in survey technologies are expected to reveal even more quasi-moons. Future wide-field telescopes, along with improved detection algorithms, will be able to spot smaller and fainter objects than ever before. Each new discovery adds a valuable piece to the larger puzzle of how small bodies evolve in the vicinity of planets and how resonances create temporary companions that can last for decades or even centuries. The long-term monitoring of objects like 2025 PN7 will help scientists refine their predictions of the paths of other small bodies, providing essential data for future planetary defence and space exploration efforts. The key takeaway from 2025 PN7's discovery is simple. While this object is scientifically intriguing, it poses no threat to Earth. It won't cause any changes to tides, won't be visible in the night sky, and will not have any impact on Earth's natural processes. However, its long-term presence in Earth's orbit offers a unique opportunity for researchers to study the dynamics of co-orbital objects and to refine our understanding of how small bodies interact with a planet's gravitational influence. 2025 PEN7 may be small, but its presence provides valuable insight into Earth's orbital neighbourhood. 
Over the coming decades, scientists will continue to study how this faint companion moves, interacts with Earth, and responds to gravitational and non-gravitational forces. Its presence serves as a reminder that space is far from empty, and Earth's orbital environment is more dynamic and complex than many people realise. As we continue to explore the solar system, 2025 PN7 will provide a rare and valuable window into the behaviour of small objects near our planet, enriching our understanding of how the solar system functions and helping shape future space exploration efforts. In conclusion, 2025 PN7 may be a quiet companion in Earth's orbit, but its decades-long stay offers astronomers an unparalleled opportunity to observe and understand the motion of small bodies in Earth's vicinity. While it doesn't pose any risk to our planet, it provides a unique natural laboratory for studying co-orbital dynamics, asteroid behaviour and the broader complexity of the solar system. Its long-term presence will continue to shed light on the subtle forces that shape the objects that share Earth's path around the Sun, enriching our knowledge for years to come.